facelift consultation, like all consultations, is a very important piece of the facelift process. This is where, again, the doctor and the patients get in sync with what's going on, uh, what the goals are, and how we're going to achieve those goals. Um, I really like it when facelift patients bring in pictures of themselves from 20 years ago. It really helps me as the doctor figure out where we want to go because, again, we don't want to create a look that's different. We want to essentially create a look that's you, but from 10, 20, 30 years ago. Uh, we also want to make sure that we don't make you look odd. You know, uh, often we'll see uh, faces that are pulled as tight as possible. Well, when you were 20 years old or 30 years old, who looked good with their face looking like they stepped out of a wind tunnel? But unfortunately, you know, people ask for this or people see this, and it's not something that I like to do, and not something that I like to see. Um, our goal, again, is to restore and rejuvenate the patients and put the tissues back where they belonged. Some of this comes with an understanding, uh, or some of this requires an understanding of what happens. For example, the cheeks move a certain way. The jowls move a slightly different way. The neck moves a slightly even more different way. So if you pull everything in the same direction, one or more of those areas is not going to look right. So when we do facelifts, what we do is we say, let's see which direction things moved, and we put things in the exact reverse direction. So it's a nice way to turn back the clock, and that's exactly what we're doing with the facelift. We also want to make sure that when we do facelifts, we do them safely. There's a lot of things that can happen. There's a lot of nerves, blood vessels, tissue planes in the face that need to be taken care of in the appropriate manner. Uh, sometimes things like you know, lunchtime lifts or uh, you know, getting a facelift from uh, a person who doesn't do a lot of facelifts. Uh, this can be a setup for disaster. And uh, one of the reasons why a lot of patients choose us is, again, our vast experience with facelifts, our focus on the face, and our understanding of not only the face on the outside as a facial plastic surgeon, but the face on the inside as a head and neck surgeon. Um, we think that the combination of these two skills together, along with an excellent plan, executed properly, will essentially assure the patient of an excellent and natural looking result.